What's going down folks? It's your boy C23 back on the sticks once again with another NCAA 14 video for you guys. And just like we do before we hop into any new gameplay, we got to do a recap on the last game. I really don't want to do it this time folks. If you guys saw the last video, we got our rear ends royally dusted and handed back to us. I mean, there's no other way to say it. We just flat out got embarrassed on the road and rightfully so because we did go up against the third ranked team in the nation. But as you can see, the score was 38 to 9. We did nothing at all in that game. There's really nothing to dive into. All the numbers are there for you guys to look at. One thing I do want to point out is the one for 10 on third down. That that was a disaster right there, folks. We can't have that going forward. If we want to be successful in this game, we have to do a better job on third down. Also, and I feel like I said this a couple of times already, we have to cut back on the turnovers. I know a couple of those picks were forced throws trying to get back into the game, but we have to do a better job overall. Anyways, folks, that's enough for the recap. Let's go on ahead and get into the gameplay. Now, as you guys can see, we finally get a home game in this one, and our opponent this week is Hawaii, a conference opponent, so we're starting to get into the conference gameplay, so we definitely got to come out here and try to take care of business. Plus, I can't wait to hit the field and watch that nasty loss out of my mouth from last week. So let's get into it now. Hawaii chose to receive first, so they get the rock. They come out and try to run the ball there. We end up stopping them for a two-yard game, bringing up a second and eight. Their quarterback takes the snap, but he's under pressure instantly. Great job by the guy guys up front rushing in for the sack now they're looking at the third and 11 situation now what are they going to do with it coming out in the shotgun looking downfield trying to make a play and there's a man wide open i think that's a tight end on the sideline and look at him fight for the extra yardage he broke three tackles before diving forward to get the first down i don't believe it there's one tackle right there he shreds that off and then there's two guys that attack him at the same time and he still has the presence of mind to fight forward for the first down that is just a crazy effort right there by the tight end. Unbelievable. I think I kind of got cheese right there, but whatever. We're going to keep it rolling. Next up, they go back to the ground game. Paul Harris rumbles ahead for a gain of four on the play. So now they're looking at third and six. Woosley in the gun, handing the ball off to Harris again. And we're right there to stuff that play for only a gain of one. So we'll take it. We're getting off the field in this one. Now, what do we do on our first offensive drive? Let's go back to Gibson, continuing to move the ball through the air right there. He's been running that seam route pretty flawlessly all season long. That might be our bread and butter go-to play. And for the most part, throughout the season, Gibson's been able to get off the line to get open. So we might have to keep using that one. Anyway, getting back to the gameplay on second and eight, I dial up the screenplay, hitting Butler in the flat, and we end up losing a yard on the play. Nice play by the DB in pursuit right there. So now we're looking at the third and nine situation once again, going back to the bread and butter. Gibson with the 17 yard pickup through the air right there. What did I say a second ago? That play right there is money for us. Next up on first and 10, Stewart scrambling and throwing across field to a wide open Richardson who makes the catch and sets us up with first and goal. So we come out and just pound the rock. Lynch does the dirty work and gets the score. So we're able to get on the board first in this one, going up seven to nothing. And Hawaii looks to come back and respond. Woosley dumping over to the flat there to his tight end for a seven yard pickup, bringing up a third and three situation now. For some reason, I overloaded the right side of that formation. And of course they run left. So they end up picking the first down up right there bringing up a first and 10 they go play action and once again the tight end burns me for 13 yards so they're giving me a little dose of my own medicine right there using the tight end in the passing game next play first and 10 harris tries to get the angle and hit the sideline with the run but he only gains one yard on the play before he's tackled but then on second and nine everything is blocked up perfectly for them so the running backs able to run in easy for a 13 yard touchdown run so our defense kind of let us down a little bit in that one. But it's okay, though, because on first and 10, we come out and tacking through the air, throwing the deep bomb to Richardson right there for a 38-yard reception. Next play on first and 10, Stewart dumping off in the flat, and Butler's right there to make the catch. He only gains three on the play, but James Butler's been pretty much banged up the entire season, folks. I think he's only played in about one or two full games. But look at the catch right there by Henderson. Oh, my goodness. Hassan Henderson and going up and making the Madden 16 aggressive catch. What a nice play right there. 
So now we get a little bit of breathing room. All we have to do is come out here and play defense. And the drive starts pretty well with the one yard loss on the run play right there. Bringing up a second and 11. They go short, dumping it off in the middle of the field. Stubblefield makes a seven yard catch on the play. But then they go back to the ground game on third and four. And we are all over that. Harris gets no gain on the play. So we end up holding on fourth down and we get the rock back. So what do I do in return? Go right back to the ground game with Butler. And he stumbles forward for a nice 10 yard pickup. That that might be his best run of the day but on second and ten we go up top once again Henderson goes up and snags it and sets us up for the easy QB sneak right there and now that we're up 14 we can kind of kick back and relax in this one right not a chance we still got to come out here and be aggressive and keep our foot on the gas because we don't want to mess around and let this team back in it so after the nice completion there to Henderson, we go back to the ground game with Butler, who picks up about a gain of nine on the play, setting us up with a second and one just outside the goal line. Stewart fires the pass into Gibson, and it's starting to look like we recaptured that early season momentum, folks. Because for the exception of the last game, our offense has done a pretty decent job with putting points up on the board. But going into last week's game, we just cannot get anything going. Anyway, though, getting back to the gameplay on second and 16, once again, our defense does a great job at containing the run. Now they're looking at the third and 15 now, and the pressure starts getting there, forcing the QB to throw in the coverage. So we're able to bat that down and force them to punt. A couple plays later in that drive, though, we go back to Butler in the ground game, and for whatever reason, we're only getting about two or three yards a pop. We definitely have to do a better job up front. But on second and eight, though, after going play action, Stewart scrambling out the pocket, dialing up the playmaker to Gonzalez throwing the ball in for an 18 yard touchdown catch and just like that we are back in the W column folks we end up taking this one 38 to 7 and it's pretty obvious to see who the player of the game is Stewart with 319 yards and three touchdowns on 35 attempts that's the type of production that we're going to need going forward if we want to be successful this season anyways folks that's all the time I have in this one don't forget to like share comment and subscribe I'm signing off and I'll see you in the next one